Good day and welcome back to my channel Chan Limited Life and today I will start the first of many long-term review of the all-new generation Honda City. Yes, it has been a year already and I'm very happy to share you all my experiences this past year. And I will begin with the most asked question of Pinoy car enthusiast. How's the fuel economy of the new gen Honda City? Matipid ba talaga sa gas? To answer that question, this vlog will be divided into three parts. First, the important variables and specs used in testing the fuel efficiency of the car. Second, the year one average fuel consumption. How is it compared to my previous vehicle? How about the amount of gas money I saved? I'll tell you a secret. You can even buy a brand new iPhone. Hmm, more of that later. And third, the tips and tricks on how I achieved my fuel efficiency. In case you want to know the sweet spot of the 2021 Honda City, make sure to watch till the end. Or when to use that icon button and when to turn it off and much, much more. So you sit back and get comfortable because I'm about to start. But first, eto muna. Some notes before we start, the background video is my usual home to office route. For security purposes, exit to subdivision was deliberately shown. The video speed was doubled to make the vlog shorter. Driving modes were added in the video background so you will see my driving style. These are the important variables and specs used in testing the fuel efficiency for this year-long review the 2021 Honda City SCVT, 1 or 2 passengers only, 91 octane shell gasoline, full tank to full tank method, the routes, my daily office route from Carmona to office in Montilupa near Sukat via Feeling Best Exit and the West Service Road, my long drives, and my other personal errands to market, to grocery, to clinic, vet, mall, etc. Other factors that may affect our review are the Skyway construction. It affected the traffic in both SLEX and the West Service Road. Also, the quarantine qualifications, the ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, MGCQ, somehow affected the vehicle volume and traffic. Disclaimer! The average fuel efficiency may vary depending on your location, road and car condition, number of passengers, driving habits, and many more. You may get a higher or lower number compared to mine, and there's nothing wrong with that. The goal of this video is to give a real-life fuel efficiency based on parameters or variables stated earlier and to give you some tips on how to make your trip more fuel efficient. Some advices can be followed provided you always prioritize your safety. Let's go to the second part, the year one average fuel consumption. This is the Dribo app. I installed it the day I bought the vehicle to monitor all my car-related expenses including fuel cost, maintenance, accessories, cleaning kits, and many more. So from day 1 up to this day, I patiently encoded all my fuel expenses along with the odometer reading. The gasoline station, the price per liter in this app will give you the average fuel efficiency of your car using the full tank method which is accurate compared to my manual computation fast forward 
This is the total distance traveled by the car, 14,400 kilometers and 1,010 liters of gasoline. So we will now compute the year-long average fuel efficiency of the 2021 Honda City. The year one average is 14.3 kilometers per liter, which is very impressive despite the fact that this happened during the construction of Skyway and SLEX, which is as of today is still ongoing. So what I will show you next is a very detailed computation of my average fuel efficiency for the past year. Some of you will find it confusing and may experience information overload. But for purposes of transparency, make time to see and study the numbers because this review is based on actual experiences. And what's next will blow your mind. This is my latest fuel efficiency, 15.7 kilometers per liter. My usual fuel consumption for the past two or three months is about 15 to 16 kilometers per liter. Meaning, the car slowly improved its efficiency right after the first six months PMS. Now let's compare a year-long average consumption for the 2021 Honda City to my previous vehicle. To simplify, I will show you a picture of computation on how much gas money I saved for the past year. So we will compute how many liters of gasoline do we need if we will use our previous vehicle to cover the total distance traveled by the Honda City. Then we will multiply it to the average price per liter of gas. Don't worry, I will not inflate it. I will not use 70 pesos per liter. But before I reveal the computation, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, Chan Limited Life, so you will be notified in my future vlogs, especially we are already in our year 2. And I will upload a few long-term review of this new gen Honda City for the next month or two, so make sure that you are already subscribed. So here's the computation. Based on the computation, I saved around 32,000 pesos of cast money by switching to the 2021 Honda City. Please note that my previous vehicle is also a sedan and my route is the same as this year. And that 32,000 pesos can buy a brand new iPhone 11 or iPhone SE. Not bad! Five tips and tricks I follow for more fuel efficient drive. And the first tip and the most important is I keep my car in good condition. On schedule PMS, for Honda, it's every 6 months or 10,000 kilometers whichever comes first. Correct tire pressure. I adjust it at least once a month or before and after a long drive. Tank up with recommended fuel octane which is 91 for the 2021 Honda City. It will save you money versus the higher octane gas. Some gasoline station will lure you to fill up a higher octane because the price difference is just 1 peso or 2 pesos or as low as 50 centavos. But that's an additional cost of 500 pesos to 2,000 pesos per year. Then remove those extra weight. Look at your trunk if there are items you can remove. Do not install some accessories if you are not sure or uh, not a fan of it. It's just excess weight for your car to carry. I plan my trip. I leave early most of the time. I leave at least 10 minutes earlier. My drive is more relaxed and less aggressive on the gas pedal. I maximize technology. I use Waze or Maps to estimate my trip so that I can adjust accordingly. I use Google Street View so that I will be familiar with the place especially in searching for a parking spot. I take the best possible route, not necessarily the shortest. I avoid busy intersections and roads with stop and go traffic if possible. 
I choose the first available parking space. If I don't have a PWD or elderly passenger, I practice this because I love walking. This is one of those practices that burns our efficiency that we may not be aware of. We spend so much time finding that parking space, especially in the city, so we make sure to research the location in advance. In multi-level parking, I choose the lower level most often than spend time idling or waiting for available space near the entrance. I avoid excessive idling. While waiting for someone, I turn off the car except during intense summer heat. I maintain safe distance to the vehicle in front or I apply the 3 second rule or more. I adjusted it to 4 or 5 seconds because I don't have a 2020 vision. It gives me enough time to change lane if necessary, ample time to slow down and avoid collision, avoid being stuck by the slow vehicle in front or uh, vehicle waiting to turn. These scenarios are frustrating and time and gas consuming. I use the car's momentum properly. I occasionally tap the gas pedal to maintain or achieve my desired speed. I don't accelerate when exiting the expressway. I use the momentum to slowly exit. I avoid unnecessary abrupt braking. Under normal circumstances, I avoid braking hard except when needed like a possible collision. I don't abuse overtaking lane in expressway. I use lane number 2 in maintaining my speed. So why lane number 2 or the middle lane? So I can easily change lane if needed. Also, trucks and buses are prohibited in lane 2. Thus allowed me to maintain the Honda City sweet spot speed. Number 5. I select the correct driving mode. I follow a simple rule in turning the econ button on and off. I turn econ button on for under 60 kph like city driving, slow provincial or rural roads, finding a uh, parking spot, exiting an expressway and uh, many more. I turn the econ button off or for normal driving mode for over 60 kph like expressways or highways or during intense heat so the aircon will be cooler. S mode for long uphill and downhill drive like Bitukang Manok. For a uh, short hill drive, I use the normal mode. I maintain my RPM below 2000 for a more efficient drive. A sweet spot of 2021 Honda City with one or two passengers is between 70 to 90 kph, 80 kph more or less. I try to stick to this speed on expressways most of the time. 25.17 kilometers per liter. That's the advertised fuel consumption of 2021 Honda City, slightly higher than previous Gen City with 23.9 kilometers per liter. We know that's far from reality. And it will frustrate or confuse us owners and disappoint potential buyers. But owners' honest reviews can bring us to reality. 14.3 km per liter can be higher or lower for some owners depending on several factors. But I'm happy that it improved for the past few months. And the range of 15 to 16 is a great efficiency. The moment I compared it to my previous vehicle, the discussion is over. 
and I know I got a great and efficient car and the amount of money I saved is no joke and the fact that I'm driving one of the biggest car and engine in its segment is a bonus so how will I rate this new gen city in terms of fuel efficiency I'll give it a rating of 8.5 out of 10 that's it Thank you for watching this vlog and I hope that you will watch the next installment of our long term review. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Chan Limited Life for more content. Drive safely. Ingat!